so welcome back to GA style channel GA style GA style channel please please you can tell it out you just woke up uh, yeah and as you can see this is not my golf either this is the GA style van we're broadcasting today from the GA style van <laughs> right so nothing about the van not yet I'm not gonna say nothing whatever uh, but enjoy the next <coughs> GA style vlog episode uh, but that's not I'll be enjoying less than usual be it but uh, I'm about to start mining some rust again so enjoy the enjoy the show peeps and I'll be there to you hey, hey, hey. so peeps <coughs> welcome back another Monday another start of the week and uh, this today we will be mining mining freaking rust again and you can see no more pretty GA style logo no nice clothes we've got Beatles Maximus and Mini what the fuck is that thing oh look at it oh motherfucker <laughs> chasing the <coughs> chasing the I fucking don't even know what they call the thing, like shit bees or some shit like that. Not even a bee, it looks like a bee, but it's not a bee, whatever. So, first thing is mini. I need to basically strip the full sound system out of it. It's been in there for a, for a quite a long time. And uh, it's been for sale for a K with the sound system. Nobody wants it. Uh, so I am keeping the sound system. Uh, Subanamp is already fucking sold, so that's good in a sense. What I've got left is then from door speakers, power cables, and uh, RCAs and whatnot. Because I think I'm I'm gonna leave the Clarion in there, and uh, and yeah, that's the score. Because if I if I can't <coughs> find the factory head in it which I've got no freaking idea where I've stuck it put it I'll probably find it at some point later that'll be like a fucking hell man but kind of kind of do nothing so yeah let me see I've looked everywhere basically well nearly everywhere but where they normally are it's not there like I say, I'm more than likely to will find it later on when the mini's gone and stuff like that and I'll be fuck's sake. But yeah, so need to strip the mini. I'm keeping all the stickers and everything and whatnot. And the bother about that. So Subus Maximus and Amplifieros. Speakeros. So I've got this old set of six in the house. I've got some tweeters somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll make them work. Sanchez, my man. <laughs> so like I say, I'll be installing these clarions. To be honest, uh, more than a four. <gasps> They're not for me. How the hell? <laughs> to be honest, these old school clarions. Probably even better than the freaking factory speakers anyway. So any what? It's just this factory. Yeah, factory. Brand new. Brand new. But there will be basically a factory replacement or factory sort of. They'll still have things sound better than factory ones that ever come. Oh look at that kit. It comes a bit fancy. See, they don't do these days like that. See, you've got fucking crimp terminals for everything, everything. Yeah, Clarion. I'm, I've honestly had these speakers for fucking donkeys. 45 to 20 kilohertz. And 91, that's a Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then, 
my magic tweet box. <laughs> I probably, I probably still have mini freaking. Probably still got mini uh, tweeters. This is BMW. I'm not sure. I think I kept the mini tweeters. I don't know. I'll take it all apart. And we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna go get busy, get all this stuff taken out, utilized, and we'll get on with the fucking Beetle Maxim. Maximus Beetleus, Beetleus, Skeetleus. So peeps, the system is out. This is what I pulled out. Audio systems. Decent bit of amp. Obviously, a few fuses and whatnot there. I'll see you in the crop. This is already basically sold. This kit here. Um, and what I've got left is I've got a decent set of speakers. It's probably 40 quid. Uh, 100, 140. This one, let's say, 60 quid. So that's a 200 quid. 200 quid just here. And then obviously wiring and RCAs and everything that's probably another 50 fucking quid in uh, wiring kit and whatnot. So took out 250 quid out of the car, dropping it down by hood 200 quid. But to be honest, don't think that the mini sounds shit now. It sounds absolutely spot on. Trias, everything, put all the trias and everything. It's got upgraded rear speakers. It's got GBL 6x9s in with the trias. We're from factory, just a shitty cone. Alright. Um, front, them speakers, Clarions, the year, I know they're probably 20 years old, but they're definitely more than likely better than the factory stuff. It sounds actually based. The sound editing has been done in these doors as well, so they're fucking solid. That's straight away improving. Uh, sounding in the boot, sounding behind the rear quarters, behind the, where the 6x9s are. 6x9s literally walking like subs at the moment, because it's got, can get the bass, you hear it. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Now well, you got a decent fucking head in the clarion, which. Cool. Cool head in it. It's got USB, Bluetooth connection, two USBs, another one in the glue box. Fucking. You're still getting more. You're still getting more than what from the factory you would. So. Still gonna be a decent fucking car for somebody. That is without a doubt. That is without a doubt. I just need to get it washed at some point. Uh, but uh, and I need to actually re-advertise it as well. So, so yeah. If now anybody got a new item in me, I'm gonna one in here. <laughs> Santa's. <laughs> well, since um, since it's here. I thought I'm gonna give these fucking headlights quick polish so they look nicer as well because they look a bit uh, better on the south side so where's my fucking raw? Raw! Let's get it on. Let's see the difference. Well, that's definitely much better. Definitely better than what it was. Cool. Basically. I need to give it a wash, really, at some point, and uh, that's me done. Now it can sit till it actually fucking goes. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the crack. Right then, uh, starting with the lonely shit. I'm gonna start on this. I'm gonna start on the back end. I'm gonna walk it up. Uh, Change the pad, install the sensor, uh, real speed sensor on this side, and then I'll, uh, I'll give it a 
give the discs one so it's going to look better so let's see let's start the mine the rust well so took it all apart uh, kind of get the bottom bolt out but this is seized yeah, I just move a lot top one is fine so I'm going to have to unseize it on the, on the car, I was going to take it off, clean it off, but I'll just clean it off with my, with my uh, scaler, just in here, put the fucking bolt back in, because you can remove the rear disc without taking that off, so I suppose it is a fucking bonus, so I'm just going back, well I'm going to go unseize this thing, and uh, give it one some on the disc so it looks shiny. Well, that's this is all freed up, so now nicely moving. No more issues. New sensor, and that was the pod. I'm almost completely knocked out. The other one was fine. Shiny. <laughs> I might have to change rear discs, like, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, got some pads, keep the pads in, I need to clean the, where are they in, oh, there we go, I need to clean these up, stick these in, and then this side will be basically done, hopefully, so yeah. Well, I thought everything was going too good to be true. The rear pads, what I have kept, as you can see, a little bit bigger, and they're a little bit different. These are Mark 5 or 6 golf pads, I think so. <sighs> oh well, never mind. Never mind. Uh, we'll get some pads and uh, and then we'll put this side back together. Oh, oh, oh. Right then, let's go on to the passenger side and start mining stuff in here. Unbelievable. Right then, so the beetle's back on its legs. Uh, basically, the other side wasn't that bad, and the pads are actually were pretty decent. It wasn't they weren't seized or nothing, but uh, I still need a brand new set of pads, anyways. Uh, getting them from GSF tomorrow. Like 15 quid for the set. Yeah, I think it's the drive the clones here. So happy days, not that expensive. Thank fuck for that. So that's good. That's for the bin. Um, now, 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 what I'll be doing now, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start on the front. On the front, we have. Suspension arms getting changed, pads are getting changed, and uh, and basically I'm gonna get this box out so I can get the. I'm gonna be doing basically both sides, uh, shocks and springs because I've got them. I'm just gonna whack them on because these front ones look rusty, same as the back ones, but I don't have anything to change in the back. Uh, I'm going to whack these uh, both sets on the front, so that's definitely everything is done. And uh, and free up that seized up caliper that is on the front and there, because that one is quite really bad. Let's see what, what's going on. I'm suspecting it's the same sort of issue as what we had in the back there. Sliders are just seized up because it's been sitting and fucking and stuff like that. So that's what happens when cars sit really. Everything, all the moving sort of parts and whatnot, uh, start seizing up with the moisture and everything and not being used and whatnot. So it is what it is. So, but uh, we'll get it off, get it all cleaned up, get it all changed, and we'll be. Should be a belter, should be a belter, I think I've got a guy who wants to buy it already, so, well, need to get it done, and 
and will be good. It will be good to go, be a decent car, fucking PD-103, uh, PD-105, wouldn't take care. This engine will go off for donkeys, 200k, fucking whatever, blah blah blah. So, yeah, what's the engine? BSW, but I think so. Oh, and this is basically how much rust I've mined today. Basically, decent two handfuls of rust from the back. <laughs> Fucking rust, man. Uh, seat, need to find a circle to fix the seat. I believe so, that's all it is. Um, I'm actually gonna have a look if it's not actually here still, unless somebody hovered it up. Because you never know. And uh, But somebody definitely has been there already cable tying things and whatnot so more than likely it's already gone so I'm gonna have to find a sort of little kit with these clips because this is what this is what it needs one of these one of them like that on here because it keeps popping off so yeah that's the scorpion so well let me go and uh, basically lift the front up start stripping the front I'll pick the brake parts tomorrow so from the way here to the unit and uh, and yeah basically that's it that's it at the moment well, I'm taking this side apart, uh, blah blah blah, and have a guess what, somebody who will install this caliper, that will install it correctly, it's not fucking, <laughs> it's not where it's supposed to be, uh, the brake part, sorry, so, I need to pull this fucking thing out and see what is actually seizing up, oh fuck, I think I know what it is seized, hopefully that's not it. Let's see. Crying, crying, crying. Well, that was the part. This is the one that wasn't installed correctly. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid people. But my worst nightmare has uh, confirmed the caliper is seized to fall. As you can see, the boot got split and all the fucking horrible, horrible fucking uh, rust has developed and now I need a new caliper, well, second hand caliper. And I don't have one because I took mine fuck out. Because I did have, because I did have one, uh, uh, and then again the shock absorbers. Uh, I don't have them. I just remember I only bought more in springs, not fucking coilovers, was man. So I wasn't changing. I wasn't changing the shock absorber. So. Shock absorbers in the front staying exactly the same. We'll just change one spring and and that's gonna be it basically. So I'm gonna crack on and do what I can. I'm just even clean all this shit up a little bit so it looks a bit fucking better. Uh, yeah. Searching for a caliper now. Well, the rust. Look at the fucking rust in there, man. <laughs> Mental! So, here we've got the spring. <laughs> the spring snapped from the bottom. And it snapped as well from the top. <laughs> First time seeing this one with Jesus Christ in my life. Front and bottom, top and bottom have been snapped off. Mental, but here is my one. Help my golf. 
that will go in, put a button of shocker, mount it all up and happy days, the claws. Oh, right, um, that's all back in, what not, uh, caliper here, we'll have to, I'm gonna have to see if I can find one. Uh, that's the suspension arm. The ball joint was knackered, and as you can see, that bush didn't have much life left. Put it in. That's why we're replacing the replacing the suspension arms. Bye bye. Who the fuck is talking about in there? Well, yeah, here is me van. Uh, I brought it in just to check what and shit what not. This is in show out for a week. This is what I'll be driving for the week. I might actually get it washed because it looks fucking filthy and horrible. Look at all that. Look at all that filth. Filthy, filthy van. But yeah, you need to drive, we can drive it so that the fucking brakes don't seize and shit like that so it's not like this. Uh, fucking L.I. But, uh, but yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I'm just waiting really for me, for me friend so he can pop around so I can quickly exchange his stuff for this stuff. And then, and then basically, um, uh, I'll be going home eventually. <laughs> So it's probably going to be about, we well, might get home about 7, fucking after 7 o'clock. Oh, the day back, and the first long run. <laughs> well yeah, I'm going to do a crack on, and uh, what not. Well, my pal's just been, I've sorted these uh, sub out, uh, I've changed these sub and put a new, put a new amp on. Sounds definitely much better, he's actually thinking about doing another one, but I uh, didn't want to change amps and everything, so whatever. And the old soup is actually toast, but it's funny, it's only toast on one coil. One coil is perfectly fine, one coil is toast, so I'll show you it tomorrow whenever. And as I was waiting, me pal, obviously, I thought, oh, let's push the fucking piston out on the front, see if I can basically clean it up and reuse it. I thought, let's just have a quick have a look. I'm pumping brakes. I'm pumping, 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 pumping up. Yeah, what happens in the rear when you don't have pardon? The pistons are fucking popping out, man. So, push fucking everything out, everything. I've already done one side, it's already back in. Now I've only got left to do this side, basically push it back in, and then I'm off home. This has been a piss take end of the day, but. That's what you get for being daft. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna go get that sorted, clean, and I'm off. And then tomorrow I'll actually put the brake pads in, and then I'll probably push the piston out, see if I can clean and see how bad it is inside, and I uh, see if it can be saved. So, well, more than likely, no, anyways, but. It is what it is, so yeah. Right, I'm gonna go and uh, and I'll see you in a bit. Eight o'clock, peeps. Eight fucking o'clock on the button. That's what you get for being a silly, stupid sausage. Everything's out, ready for the new parts. Pistons are wound back in. All the way in. Fucking hell, man. Obviously, this is it. <coughs> oh. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm knackered. I'm hungry. I'm going home. And I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll continue with this madness. Bye bye. Right, <coughs> welcome back to Tuesday, fucking hell, got a bit of cough there, <coughs> motherfucker.
So, <lacht> ähm, Beetle. Fucking Beetle. I got the pods, and let's whack them in the back before I fucking push these pistons out again. Because that was a nightmare to get them back in. I was sitting there winding the thing in for about half an hour before I can actually stick the caliper caliper uh, rewind rewind two fucking whatever. But yeah, so new new decent pads. Set the drive deck ones, whatever the hell they are. Up is this, let's walk them in and then let's push the front piston out. <laughs> right, uh, another thing, another thing. This sub here, this one. So basically, <clears throat> I don't know, I can't see any issues with the sub. The coils, everything looks nice and shiny. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Like two seconds. So well, as you can see there perfectly fine yourself, nothing is burned, absolutely nothing from the outside, I cannot see any damage to the coil at all, even if I pull it all the way out, as you can see it's already starting to go shiny, but no, there's nothing wrong with it, I don't know what the hell happened, but uh, one coil, one side is off, other side is working. <coughs> mental. Mental, mental, mental. All I can say. But uh, well, he's not going to need that one anymore because he's got a better one now. But yeah, <laughs> just to show you the sub. Let's get to mine then. Well, on today episodes, how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> well, basically, uh, I managed to get the piston out after I put the bath back in there. Uh, fuck knows, I'm not sure whether the brakes will be working or not because I might have to bleed the back now since I've pushed the fucking pistons out. Uh, as you can see, this one is all the way in. Uh, one of them is missing because that's what was uh, seasoned up as well as you can see this one is moving perfectly freely but that one wasn't and it was as you can see it's rust and everything it was like covered in rust and everything so the rust was de developing under there and basically when rust goes it starts to expand and basically squeezes around this one and then this rubber squeezes around the, the pin and that ceased so such an event uh, can lead to, like I say, brake fucking failure and stuff like that and whatnot. And in this case, uh, piston was covered in rust, so I emptied the, the whatever the tank is in there, and put put new brake fluid inside there. Then I put a piston, I cleaned the piston, put it in. It's got some spitting and scoring, but we'll see if it leaks or not because if I can't save it, obviously I will, so this end is going back together and then I will be able to basically put my put the pressure on the displacement if I need to, I'll bleed the thing and then, 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 then that sort of score, so let me go put this side back together and let's hope I don't have to bleed anything, but it doesn't work for me like that, so yeah, in a bit continue of the mining well I've got a nice pile in there uh, this head caliper wasn't seized uh, it's moving parts were parts were in a perfect condition like brand new there but well, we'll be changing them for fucking anyways um, look at that look at a fucking nut there like that <laughs> Bastard, but honestly, unfucking believable. Um, well, yeah, I just thought I'll show you the nut. <laughs> I'm gonna try and <laughs> unscrew it to change the stupid suspension arm, and that's really it on this side pads and suspension arm. And uh, 
and yeah, I scaled some, scaled some shite off. Complete. All done. All freaking done. Nice. New arm. Brake parts. Everything's working. Happy this. Uh, the old one, same. Ball joint was, well, the boot was split for the starters and quite a little movement. And then just bush as well. But it's life. So now, unfortunately, I've got to fucking bleed the stupid brake because the spongy. And so the air is there. I hate bleeding brakes because none of them nipples are gonna come off. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go a different alternative way. Well, soon got bled. But obviously I had to, that is welded on, it's a titty mill, not welded on under the normal, basically shaved down and everything. With steel, it works sometimes, well you can see this time work. I bled the front but at what fucking cost, pushed me bleeder on. Didn't realize that that didn't have a rubber, rubber seal, powerfully a fucking brake fluid. Whop! down on the fucking floor honestly sometimes I fucking feel like my hands are growing out my fucking ass something like what the fuck whatever my fruit is bled now bless me wish me good luck hopefully I manage to bleed the fucking rear otherwise I'm gonna kill him I've got smiley face on because I got to bleed the rear brakes. Just as easy, man. Fucking hell. I didn't think that something like that was gonna happen on this car. Considering this is the was the exhaust uh, sleeve. <laughs> well, I've well, got good news and bad news. The good news is. Beetle works as it should. Drives great, feels great, but there's always one fucking but. I'm gonna have to do front wheel bearing on that fucking side because I'm gonna turn right. Yeah, there is a bit of fucking movement in the bearing. And traction control like comes on as if it's fucking starting to break and uh well, I can hear something like, oh, oh, like fucking grinding noise. Fuck's sake man never fucking ends does it? But all it means I need to peel that one out which is the passenger side fucking that I kept for my golf. <laughs> with a decent bearing and everything so it's going to be best the case tomorrow popping in, coming in uh, I don't, I'm actually I'm not sure what the fuck is going to happen tomorrow if it is going to happen or it's not going to happen but but uh, I'm going to pop in take the front apart smash the full knuckle off and, uh, and install that local because there should be identical if no I'm gonna have to go get a bedroom which is about 30 25 quid something like that and just press it out press it in and it's done it's basically freaking done apart from a couple of bits and bobs as per usual there always a but <laughs> and there is a but at indeed so but yeah it's not that not that bad I suppose, uh, everything's loose already. I'm gonna see if I can free up the truck rod ends as well because it needs alignment done uh, so I'm just gonna free them up so it's ready for an alignment uh, blah 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 so hopefully by the end of this week this thing is gonna be MOT 
and ready to go to the car sales place. <laughs> Same as the fucking mini. Mini needs to fucking go as well. It's like the mini me motherfucker. But never mind. So really, this is it for me today. I'm not doing anything more. I'm done. Um, I'm just gonna tidy all this shit up. And I will see you tomorrow. And this is the pile of roast that I've mined from the fucking front.